Hey Bulls fans, Adam here back in with another unboxing review. Today I have the Houndstooth expansion pack uh, from 4 Star Wars, the X-Wing miniatures game from FFG. Uh, it's still in the wrapper. How did I get this? I went to Gen Con, that's how I got it. So, <laughs> that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off real quick and get rid of the, uh, the glare there and we'll take a deep dive in the box. You can already see most of the contents online. We've done review stuff about the Houndstooth, but this is the physical model, uh, which I'm fairly excited about actually getting into. So that said, let's jump on in. Okay. Got the, uh, the plastics off as you can see, but we still have a bit of a glare. That's just due to uh, uh, the lighting and the fact that this is shiny plastic. But I do want to show off the back of the box real quick. I'm going to zoom in here. Um, one thing I wanted to call out is you see here that's all the contents they do have the uh the stand for uh uh the uh the viper or sorry the z95 head hunter but there this box does not include a another z95 head hunter so uh, that lets you repurpose one it does not include one so i do want to make that perfectly clear uh before we dive into the contents i have not removed it it's it just doesn't come with one so uh, that said get, get on in here have that that's the contents there and then of course we've got the plastic there I'm gonna move the box out of the way and let's take a look first off at the model I'm pulling out plastics here you know is that awesome packaging from the uh, always want to be careful when you pull this stuff out just uh, you know, break off any fins or anything uh, that is a pretty sweet looking model <laughs> Not gonna lie, looks cool. Uh, if if a little goofy, uh, but it's Star Wars, <laughs> and uh, pretty cool looking. Sweet. Okay, so that's the hound's tooth. There's the the teeth. <laughs> uh, let me put that to the side and move that and dump out these contents. That's cardboard container. Uh, we've got some new rules, which I'm assuming is gonna be about the firing arc yep there's the firing arc and then also uh it's probably going to talk about deploying the uh i got a new mission deploying example yep that's how to deploy so that stuff's in there so how to deploy the uh the pup yeah houndstooth uh the z95 there so special one and remember when when you use that card when the uh, z95 deploys uh uh, it's still the same pilot and pilot skill. So the special abilities transfer to the Z95, making it a six point upgrade well worth it. So there's the stand real fast. We've seen that before. There are little pins for the card. We'll put that to the side there. And then uh, we'll actually dive into the rest of the contents. So, okay. We've got the dials, as you can see there. Um, looks like a four straights the fastest. We have a lot of turns there. You can see the dials online as well too. So you've seen that the shields and damage and stuff like that. Uh, we've got the backing dials, you know, five dial. Oh, they do include a dial, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, the pup. And again, the pilot skill equals the pilot skill of whoever uh, was in the big ship before. So, and there's the. Uh, different pilots there with the crazy looking firing arcs. So uh, we've got the cards here. Let's go through. We've got the ion token and booster. You've seen those before. And Bosk, like a Bosk. There he is. Uh, he's pilot skill seven. He's pretty good. When you perform attack that hits before dealing damage, you may cancel one of your crit results to add two hit results. So again, I I'm curious how that works with stuff like. Um, the Mangler Cannon, where you can, um, you know, flip something to a crit and vice versa. So it's it's gonna be gonna be good. Some combos there. There's some nonsense in there. Um, we have Evil here, uh, Morlando, Morlan, Mer Merlano. Yeah, Evil. There's not a D. Sorry, <laughs> dyslexia kicked in. Uh, he is six. Pascal six there. Uh, perform a secondary weapon attacking ships inside your auxiliary firing arc. That can be good. Uh, Lats, uh, Razzy, yeah, there we go, he's a pot of five, friendly ship declares an attack, I'm reading the rest of the cards, sorry, <laughs> he may spend a target lock 
uh, you have on the defender to reduce its agility by one. So he helps combo with other guys. If you have a target lock on somebody else, you can pull it to reduce their agility. So helping out your buddies. And then uh, just the, the two generic guys, or the, the one generic is a pilot skill two, and then the uh, the pup that deploys from the hound's tooth. So that's pretty cool. Just a standard Z95 headhunter there. Um, let's see. And we have some good stuff in here. What do we have? First off, we have Glitter Sim, which is a new new card. Let me zoom in, actually. You guys probably can't see too much. Uh, Glitter Sim, the start of the combat phase, you may discard this card and receive one stress token. If you do, uh, until the end of the round, when attacking or defending, you may change all of your focus results to a hit or evade. So that is pretty, pretty darn good for a turn, um, popping that Glitter Sim. <laughs> Engine upgrade, pretty useful on big ships. I uh, like that a lot. Ion Projector. Uh, this is a large ship only. It's a modification. An enemy ship execute uh, after an enemy ship a ship executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap your ship. Roll one attack die. On a hit or crit, the enemy receives one ion token. So it's uh, kind of like the defensive laser lasers, but ion. So two of those maneuvering fins. It's a modification for the uh, Houndstooth, the YV six 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 only. It's a modification when you reveal a turn maneuver. Uh, that's a hard turn. You may rotate your dial to the corresponding bank maneuver of the same speed. Interesting. So you get to slight change it up. The, I personally love effects like this that lets you uh, uh, change your plan after you see the flight path and you go, oh, that might not be exactly where I want. Let me change it up. So little hound corrections there. Hound suit the, the title. It just lets you deploy the attached pup. Um, so that's pretty cool. Crack shot. Uh, when attacking a ship inside your firing arc, you may discard this card to cancel one of the defenders of aid. That's an elite pilot skill for one point. That can come in super handy, that game winning shot you need to do one more point of damage. Stay on target. Uh, it's an elite pilot skill again. Uh, when you reveal a maneuver, you may rotate your dial to another maneuver with the same speed. Treat your maneuver as a red maneuver. So, <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. You can go from a bank to a, to a turn to whatever. <clears throat> Again, it helps you autocorrect, um, not autocorrect, <laughs> helps you cor course correct uh, to, to, of course, stay on target. So I love those effects. Heavy laser cannon, um, that could be really good to, uh, um, uh, with, with um, boss ability there. Change all your crit results to hit results. I'm curious how that, inter uh, that uh, interaction works as well, but this does say immediately after rolling, so take that for what you will. Um, I'll probably look for some clarification on that later. Bosk, uh, boss, excuse me, when he's a, a crew, uh, after you perform an attack that does not hit and are not stressed, you must receive one research token. Then assign one focus to your ship and acquire a target lock on the defender. So missing uh, doubles up for the ne for next turn. You get a focus, so you can now do some tricksy minks dodging. And uh, you also get a target lock on the defending ship, so that could be useful later. K4 Security Droid. This is one of the newer ones, I think. Uh, this is a really good droid, actually. After executing a green maneuver, you may acquire a target lock. Uh, again, that's not an action. That just says, did you do a green maneuver? Put a target lock on somebody. That That's an extra action. So anytime you get extra actions, uh, something to be mindful of. And he's only three points, and he's a, a crew, and it's scum only, though. So... And tell about those scum ships. Outlaw tech scum only uh, limited, meaning you can only have one of these on your ship. Uh, after you execute a red maneuver, you may assign one focus to token to your ship. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a focus token that does not require an action. You just get a focus for free when you get stressed. So uh, combine that with boss ability, and you get two focus tokens. So I mean, <laughs> also uh, just in general. Getting extra focus for free um, is always a good thing. Combine that with push to limit so that you're generating stress, you're getting focus. Um, I've done that quite a bit. So uh, I, <clears throat> outlaw tech plus push to limit and an engine upgrade on this ship uh, could really cause some people some headaches uh, as, as far as catching up because big ships just have that extra mobility. It's pretty awesome. And then lone wolf, uh, when attacking or defending, if there are no other friendly ships range one or two, you may reroll one of your blank results. Um, this big ship. Um, he's a lot of points. There, there's, it's really easy to swing for the fence with Bosk, uh, especially because he starts, uh, what was it, at like 30, 35 points. And then <clears throat> before upgrades, 
And once you start adding upgrades, that's going to go way, way up uh, on the houndstooth there. So um, it's really easy to overload this guy. You got to be careful because, as we've seen, Death Stars, uh, Death Stars don't do well in Star Wars universe. So <laughs> Uh, keep that in mind when when doing it. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing for this, the Houndstooth. Um, I'm going to go get some games in with it today. Uh, by the time you guys see this video, I may have gotten a couple games in already. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm going to go check out how this new auxiliary firing arc works. I'm going to read up on that. I'm going to read up on how to deploy the PUP uh, Z95 Headhunter. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So yeah, X-Wing time. Talk to you later, Bulls fans. Adam Harry signing out. Have a good one.